Morning, girls. They've mown the long acre. Now to put them all back in the field with their breakfast. Okay, you guys ready? In you come. There we go. Now, to go and open the roadside gate before the postman comes. Gorgeous sunny morning. You can see the sunrise. My sidekicks are all here, including Time. Hey, kitty Time! You beautiful kitty! Meow! Okay. Got to go and open gates. I walk down the driveway to see what the sheep have done, how they've mowed. They've done an excellent job mowing. All the other dogs have stayed, except for a certain person who doesn't understand yet about staying up when I go down to open the road gate. Maya is the next one that kind of sneaks up behind. But Java's like, ah, I don't count. So he's going to have to learn to stay. Aren't you? You're bold. Yes. But I want to check and see. They've done a really good job uh, grazing this area. Looks, it makes a very clean looking entrance for the winter. But... I'm wondering how much they nuzzled down into the leaves. Oh, they did quite a bit. Hopefully, they didn't graze too much. You see, there's, that's a um, bluebell. Let's see. Oh, there's another bluebell. Oh, so they didn't graze the bluebells. Excellent, look, see more bluebells. So they didn't graze the bluebells that are coming up. Perfect. That's great news. So, look, there's Maya and Time the Cat. Ah, ah, stay. Stay. Good cat, good dog. And you are bold. Ah, ah, stay there. Stay. Ah, stay. 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 Ah, ah. stay. Stay, good boy, stay. Doing this all one-handed and keeping an eye on the puppy. Ah, ah, stay, good dog. Good dog, stay away, good dog. Good boy, you stay there. Stay, stay, good boy, stay. Stay, good boy, stay. Stay. So I've got the gates to stay. 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 Good boy. Clever boy. Clever boy. Clever girl. Okay. Good dogs. Now we go back up. Come on. Out of dogs. Come on. Clever boy. Clever boy. Maya, leave it. Maya, come on. At a girl. You're getting the idea. Clever dogs. The rest of the dogs around the corner. Inca, you just can't see, but she's right there sitting on the driveway waiting for me to come back up. These two. Maya's just too excited. 
Good dogs. Clever dogs. Yeah. Learning about staying. Yeah. We're coming up the driveway to be slowly meet, met by the other dogs. Good girl, Brindle. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl, Inca. Clever pup. Good dogs. And the driveway looking lovely and moan. Or the long acre. Clever dogs. Morning, first morning job done. So I'm putting the permanent ear tags on the yo lambs today. So they have their blue ear tag, like this one, and it has a number in it that is related to the breeding in the breeding book. So this is number 58. So, and you're watching over, isn't it right? Are you cold sitting on that wall? So I've already done a few. So I then go to the book, find the number 58, which is right there. She's called Luna. And then I choose an ear tag and I, that number will go to that number so that I then get the breeding. So it'll be Jackson and Grace. So there we go. That's how I keep trace. And that's why you have the ear tags is so that you can track the breeding and things like that. Isn't that right? So that's what I'm doing at the moment. And then I will reunite the two flocks, the lamb flock with the yo flock. Isn't that right, ladies? Hey, Tom, kitty, you doing an inspection? That was kitty. He's having a conversation with the sheep, one of the lambs. Hey, kitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's checking up on what I've been doing. <laughs> you good girl, Inka Dink. I know it's chilly. Anyway, gone through quite a few. The only ones that are left are way down the other end. So, everybody's helping and overseeing me. I'm being inspected. <laughs> Isn't that right, kitty? Yes. Okay, now I gotta head down there to get to them lot. Okay, everybody's tagged. And only one tag has been this little idiot got her head trapped and tore out her tag already. Look. So, ah, it's always the way. There's always one, as they say. Ugh, can't untie this knot. No, this knot is gone really tight. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn off the video. We're ready for the lambs to be released. I'm only putting them in the shed at the moment. Come on, girls. Yeah. Go on, girls. Go on. You can't back up, huh? Yeah, you're stuck. I was doing a bit of dagging as well. Hopefully I haven't done too much and done myself backwards. This was a job that's been needing doing for some time. Come on, back up. That a girl. Back up. Good girl. Back up. There you go. Now, the rest of you should get be able to get out. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. One being an idiot. 
Come on. There we go. Job done. Okay. I've got to go and sit down and have a cup of tea or coffee. That was a lot of work. Especially a little bit of dagging at the end. Just to clean everybody's bottoms up a bit. So, I'm going to stop and have a... Uh, uh, have a coffee and relax for a little while and then I'll turn you guys out with the yos. So many more clean bottoms and everybody's tagged. Isn't that right? <coughs> I know your friends, your other nanny aunts are out in the paddock and you'll join them in a minute. Just go and eat some hay. <coughs> <laughs> so this is the field there's loads of grass in here as you can see down pretty good and deep and as you can see there's diversity in it and I'm going to let the sheep out in here to graze it down because once the sheep have grazed it down, no sheep will come in for, gosh, till April or even May because this is the field. For those of you who don't follow me, this whole field is full of daffodils in the spring, absolutely full of daffodils. So I want the sheep to graze this right down to its butt, to the scut, as it were, so that, um, see there's a uh, cow parsley in here. The sheep will love that. But I want- There's cow parsley, buttercups, dandelions, Herb Roberts, all kinds of things in here. But I want them to graze it down to the scut because Look at all this cow parsley. They're gonna wolf this all down. All this cow parsley, the love. They're not gonna do it in because that'll all grow back. But all of the daffodils and crocuses and snowdrops and bluebells will all come up in here. And if this is grazed down low, it has more of a chance for you to see or me to see the bluebells, etc. Every time the phone rings, um, the video cuts off, which I suppose is good. So much so that you've had time to have a bath while I've been talking on the phone. Okay, this field is so full of grass. I'm gonna let the yo flock. Look, they see me coming. Some of them do anyway. Hey, you. Um, Inca's not lame. This is a terrier thing. You see, she's got using all her legs. Uh, she sometimes goes, does a three-legged run. Okay, let's see, as I open this gate, if all the flock are just gonna come galloping up the hill. Hey, girls. I have to do a series of, hey, you, yeah. Okay. Now, oh, this is very difficult. I don't want this to fall on sheep or them to trot through it, so I'll do this. Then I do this. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo. Come on. Brindle, leave it. Come back in here. Leave it. Look at that. Lots of lovely green grass for them to graze.
and little bit is right there. Look at that. All those heads down. Come babies. Come babies. Bond. Woo. Bond. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on. Woo. Come on. Come on, babies. Come on. Java, leave it. Good boy. Good boy. You're learning well about when to leave it. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, babies. Java, Java, wait. Good boy. Now, all the sheep are here, and I'm going to let them out with the O's. All the lambs. Come on. No, no, no. Don't go back up. Don't go back up. Go on. Got to close this gate so they don't come through. Okay, girls. Look, lots of love. Oh, come on, girls. Come on. Come on, girls. Oh, the gate didn't close. Come on. Oh, how annoying. Come on, girls. Come on. There we go. Java, come back. Come here, good boy. There they are. Now I've got one big flock of sheep. All the yos. Lambs, yeos, and hoggets. One alpaca. Hopefully the other two are going to follow. Whoop, there goes one. And finally, little blackbird. And they're all out. And they've got loads of lovely grass to graze. Look, they're knee deep in it, almost. Almost knee deep in grass. And the sun is setting. Look at that. Some airplane is flying overhead. So, just in time. It's lovely to see this uh, in bloom. Look at that. Food for pollinators in December and January. That's why I've planted these. You can see there's a whole series of them. But any of those winter pollinators will have some food. So I've been planting these. I always call them Harmonia. I know that's wrong. I know it's wrong. It's just me daft brain. It's my dyslexic daft brain just calls them Harmoniums. <laughs> anyway, they're flowering all over the place, which is brilliant. And that's why I've got them. They are not a native to Ireland, but with the way our planet is warming, whether that's human or natural, uh, we have to be prepared for plants to change and diversify depending where we are. 
So that's why I have these here for pollinators. And yeah, I do other ones that are non-natives. It's all planning for the future to make it so that the wildlife, insect life, and everything else can survive. It's like the pheasant eye stuff, the pheasant berries, those things. Birds love the berries of those. I think they're called pheasant berries. But it's all to get as much diversity for wildlife as possible. Not just our native species, but as much else. Hey, are you coming out? Come on. Come on, Java. Come on. You go that way. Come on, Java. Come on. He says, no, I want you to open the gate. He's being lazy. He's going to find another way. He's going to go through the fence. There we go. Clever boy. Yeah. Yeah. You're such a gorgeous cat. Aren't you? So beautiful. Such a beautiful boy, aren't you? You're such a beautiful boy. Okay. Sheep are moved. I've got to go crash out. I think I've spent all my energy today doing sheepish jobs, as you've seen earlier in the video. Look at this. Still loads of holly berries. A little bit. Yum, yum, yum. Look at them all. They're wolfing down the car par cow parsley. There's loads of cow parsley right in this area. Different areas of the field have different concentrations of different herbs and grasses. And this area is full of cleavers and cow parsley and dandelions. And yeah, there's a bit of nettle right there. But there's lots of cleavers. Look, there's the cleavers. Those right there are cleavers and cow parsley. And look, you can see she's eating cow parsley. You're such a beautiful kitty. Get a big purr on you, don't you? It's <laughs> smacking my hand. <laughs> and the sun is now setting behind the trees. <laughs>